Hi, Pete Morrid of Shooting Sports Magazine. Welcome to Gunmark TV. And we have a two-parter here. Um, this is a new Sauer S404. Um, probably shooters are aware of the, the old Sauer 202, which used to be the most popular sporting rifle in Europe until Blaser came along. But it's still a very well-respected rifle. But Sauer have obviously taken a long, hard look at the 202 and realised that there are areas where they can improve upon or make the gun more com commercially appealable to, to shooters. Essentially, it's a 202 action, but there are a number of changes, and in part two of this review, we'll go tightly into the techniques of what's changed and how it's all done. But this is just a look at the rifle, basically. I'm, I never really liked the 202. Nothing wrong with it. I've used it. I've hunted with it. Um, but, you know, some things, it's like, some people like fours, some people like voxels. It's, it's that sort of thing. But um, I've got to say, from the outset, I've been shooting this gun for a bit, um, and I quite like it, though it's, it, it is a sour and it feels the same. Some has a few features on that just make it a little bit better for me. I don't know, but just that's the way it is. Basically, bolt action, what sour have done, they've changed it quite a lot. In the old 202, you had a safety catch. There was a button here and a button in the trigger guard. And so to put it on safe, you pushed this button down and the button popped out in the trigger guard. And then to take it off safe to shoot, you just lifted your finger up and pushed up on the button that uh, unset the safety. I quite like that idea. Sauer have moved to the Blaser idea of a decocker at the rear of the action, uh, which is common in European guns. Uh, I've got one of my R R8 and also my Mauser MO3, slightly different. But basically the decocker, gun is safe. It's not a safety catch, it actually physically decocks the mechanism so you can't shoot it at all. You could load this gun up and drop it all day long on the muzzle of the button, it wouldn't go bang. But basically, in the shoulder, you push up and you're ready to shoot. When it's up, red dot shows, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, red dot shows, which means the gun is live to go. If you want to decock, it's just a matter of pressing the button with your thumb and that shoots down. I've got to say, it's a little bit easier to use in the R8's decocker. Um, one point to, to sour, I suppose. Magazine, as before, single column box mag, five round mag, and a three round mag. Three round mag is a standard hunting mag. The five round mag is more what I would call for driven game, uh, a bore rifle. And this rifle has been sent to me set up as a bore gun. It's got a really nice Leica 1 to 6.3 by 24 Magnus compact scope on it, and it's a beautiful little scope, it really is. Ideal for close range shooting. You know, you can push out to 300 yards with a, with a, with a six mag scope, not a real problem. So I've also gone away from the idea of giving the option of putting your own mounts on, which I think is a bit cheeky, but it's, it's a modern world. Basically, the old 202, the receiver bridges were drilled and tapped for mounts, commercial mounts, or some of the guns came with a Picatinny base front and rear, so you just got your own mounts and put the scope on. This Sauer mount, I'll just turn this round because you can't see it this way. The gun is empty. Let me just show you. Okay. These levers swing down. You lift up. You lift up. And the scope mount comes off. And then it just clips back on. Like so. You swing the levers back and it's back in position. Um, again, like the decocker, Sauer, I think, have cribbed a bit off Blaser's scope mount. It's not identical, but, but it's similar. Uh, then again, if you don't know, that um, Sauer, Blaser and Mauser as a group are owned by one company. So there's a lot of cherry picking going on of uh, designs and features. So th that's what they've done there. Um, this gun, so it's set up for being a pig rifle. It's got iron sights, which I like. When it's wet, you can't see through a scope. You just take it off and you can still shoot. Uh, unusually, which is quite clever as well, as we'll see in the next article, the butt comes off and the rifle comes in a neat little carry case, which is really sweet. Butt comes off and then the fore end action and barrel go in as one piece. The scope comes off and goes in the compartment as one piece. This goes in the compartment as one piece. The forend comes off very easily. This is a special tool that Sauer make. It actually sits in the forend in the form of a QD sling swivel, and they call it their universal Sauer universal tool, or similar. And that pulls out like that. 
this flicks up, you've got a, basically an Allen key there. The Allen key will do, take the button on and off, take the forend on and off, and when the forend's off, you can adjust the trigger. The trigger's got four, four weight settings, um, and it's just a rotary dial, so you can go from one to four. Um, and it's, it, it's really very clever, and that slides back in the butt. So all in all, I rather like this. Uh, this one's in 308. The barrel is like a medium weight, or light medium weight barrel. It's a 1 in 11 twist, which is, you know, that's the Germans for you. It wasn't 1 in 10, wasn't 1 in 12, it was 1 in 11. I don't know why, but there they are. The ejection port, I believe, is slightly bigger than the 202, and I find it very easy just to, if you need to throw around in, you can get your finger in and hook something out. It's just that little bit slicker. Um, overall, no complaints. I think that the standard synthetic stock version, this is the classic, um, this has got polymer inserts, again, like the Mauser and like, like the Blaser, um, is about, I think, 2527 at the ballpark price, which is what you're paying for Mausers and Blasers. So it's not a cheap rifle, but it's in the ballpark. It's not an amazingly expensive rifle. They do do a number of um, stock options. And we'll be seeing in the next video the XT, which is the thumbhole stock version, which will be my choice. I like thumbhole stocks. But they do the XT stock in this uh, polymer and rubber. They also do it in carbon, carbon fibre, for the ultimate lightness. But I've got to say, I, I shoot a lot of pigs with my MO3 in 8.5 by 63. And in terms of features and feel, this is very much like it. And I, and I would be happy to take this out shooting pigs or anything, really. And I think... Sarah have done a pretty good job on the rifle, they really have. Anyway, let's just fire a few rounds through it, using three round mag, which is what most people use in the UK. For the uh, uh, test, I'm using the new Precision Hunter from Hornaday. It's a 178 grain ballistic tip. We've been using this, and it's, this shoots with if, even this little scope on. Um, so off the bench, I'm getting about three quarter inch groups with it, if I put my mind to it. So no real complaints. Oh, one more thing, sorry, I do apologise. Um, it's also got a magazine lock on it, which again is quite useful. The mag goes in, mag button is there, mag comes out. But what you can do, I think if you can see, if I move that out of the way, you can put the catch forward, and in that position it's locked, and you can't lose the magazine. Flip it back, out it comes. Um, it's a sort of feature that you might use in a dangerous game rifle where you don't want to lose the magazine because that would be rather embarrassing to say the least. Mag comes out, three rounder goes in. Decocker up to fire. Nice smooth action, easy feed. Uh, this is 308, and it's not, I'm not, I don't dislike 308, but I find it a little bit jumpy in certain rifles. But this thing, they seem to have got the stock geometry right because it doesn't feel like a 308 to shoot. This is the 404, it's available in many different versions. Obviously, it's a switch barrel, as we'll see, um, so you can change calibers and barrels. But that's it for now with this one, which part two is coming in a minute. So we'll look at the nuts and bolts of the gun in, in more detail.